Now, instead of using Excel to create the same old boring reports that we see, let's do something new. Let's try something new. We will try to create a report in Power BI. So let's come to reports. You can see this option over here. Let's click on reports. Let's click on this plus button to add a new report. Let's go to new report. We would need a time distributed data. Now we have a report opened up here right now. This is the report that export got exported from here. So let's not show what this is, but let's remove this. Let's close this. Let's expand the columns. So what we can see is the budgeted units, cumulative units for each of the activity. What we don't need is the subtotals. Let Let's delete this. All right. So we don't need this information as well. Let's delete the information. Yeah. So let's save this file. All right. Let's take a look at it again do we find anything odd that we need to delete before creating the power bi report doesn't look like it and then let's save report over here let's finish let's come to power bi and go to get data go to excel Select this Excel report that we just exported and saved. Now let's give it a second to connect and open up.
let's transform the data before we actually use this so let's do something remove let's see what this does remove top row use first row as header let's that's not right we need to use this header we use first row as header let's do it again yeah so this is what we have and then we need to do something right here you know, select all of this and then you can find an option over here So unpivot at the columns. This is what you need to select. Once this is done, we have to write as time distribution. These are material units. So let's convert this data type to date. All right. Let's go close and apply. Let's give it a second to load it. now what we have to do is click on this line chart we have this line chart graph to open up over here now just like in excel we need to do something that is have an axis the axis we would need is a time distributed data so this is the dates that is loading it right now and then another thing we need to do is values So you see these units, we need to do some filtering. So you can see clearly that Let's just squeeze this a little bit other than that, if we had used this cluster chart, what we could have done is again, use time distributed data as axis, then material units as a value, and then only filtered out the budgeted units, not the cumulative. And then let's collapse this. And then what we can do is click on this option to actually drill down the values that we have. 
so if you see it is showing the quarter over here that we don't need to show so how you can remove is by just clicking and remove this quarter or you can do is do this option yeah right here and then let's just turn on the data labels let's just move it on a new page cool so now we have our time distributed data by material available over here and we have a cumulative chart that we prepared so we have cumulative material units plotted over here and then we have a bar chart that we plotted over here using power bi from the data that we exported from p6 hope you guys enjoyed this something new that we tried please let me know if you want to see more videos like this and subscribe enjoy